What's going on everybody and welcome back to another Through the Years. Now this is the series where you leave me comments of people who you want to see and then I knock them out for you. Matter of fact, if this video gets 800 likes, we'll do another Through the Years for tomorrow. Now, Greg Jennings, of course, he played for the Green Bay Packers. Yo, is he one of the best Green Bay Packers of all time? Is he the best receiver at Green Bay or for Green Bay of all time? Let me know down in the comment section below. Man, but we're going to kick things off in NCAA 04, his red shirt sophomore season, where he is 60 overall, comes in with just 72 speed, 46 awareness, 74 agility, 70 acceleration, 68 for his catch, 49 carry, 78 for his jumping, and then a 40 break tackle. Now his numbers for his sophomore season look like this. He played in 12 games, caught 56 passes for 1,050 yards, averaging 18.8 yards per catch. He had 14 TDs. 14 TDs, man. Pretty good for Greg Jennings, man. Pretty freaking good. But now let's move on to NCAA 04 with Lay Fitzgerald. I mean 05. <laughs> Lay Fitzgerald on the cover of NCAA 05. Where Greg Jennings comes in at 91 over. That is a 31 point jump. Doing big things. 93 speed, 88 awareness, 93 agility, 95 acceleration, 92 for his catching, 56 carry, 94 for his jumping, and he also comes in with a 48 break tackle rating. His numbers for his junior season, played in 11 games, caught 74 passes. He had 1,092 yards receiving, averaging 14.8 yards per catch and 11 TDs. Again, doing his thing in the MAC. Now let's move on to NCAA 06 where he is a senior and he is 93 overall with 93 speed, 90 awareness, 93 agility, 95 acceleration, 94 catching, 62 carry, 94 jumping, and then a 48 for his break tackle rating. Now his senior numbers look like this. He caught 98 passes for 1,259 yards, averaging 12.8 yards per catch, 14 TDs, man. His career numbers, they look like this. He caught a grand total of 238 passes for 3,539 yards, averaging 14.9 yards per catch, and 39 career TDs at Western Michigan. Now, when we add up all the overalls of the games that I had and divided by the number of games that I did, we get 81.3 for his college football video game career. Now, let's move on to the NFL. He was a second-round pick in the 2006 draft to the Green Bay Packers. Those cheeseheads. Now, he comes in at 75 overall in his rookie season, 90 speed, 90 agility, 93 acceleration, 62 awareness, 86 elusiveness, 85 juke move, 54 carry, 78 for his carry catching and then an 84 for his jumping. His real life numbers for his rookie season look like this. He played in 14 games, started 11 of those games, caught 45 passes for 632 yards, averaging 14 yards per catch, and he had three TDs. So he was definitely doing his thing for Brett Favre and the Green Bay Packers. Now let's move on to Madden 08 with Vince Young on the cover. Greg Jennings comes in at 85 overall to match his jersey number. 93 speed, 92 agility, 95 acceleration, 77 awareness, 93 elusiveness, 91 juke move, 54 for his carry, 87 for his catching, 82 for his route running, 84 for his catch and traffic, 85 for his spectacular catch in the 82 release his numbers for his second season started 13 games and he only played in 13 games he caught 53 passes for 920 yards averaging 17.4 per catch and he also had 12 TDs so Greg Jennings man one of the best receivers during this time period but where does he rank as a Green Bay Packers receiver I mean is he number one he had Antonio Freeman Donald Jabri got Jordy Nelson Randall Cobb I mean where is he let me know down in the comment section below anyways man Madden 09 he is 93 overall another big time jump for my man Greg Jennings 96 speed 93 agility 97 acceleration 88 awareness 92 elusiveness 91 jump move 70 carry 90 catch 92 route running, 88 catch in traffic, 88 spectacular catch, and then a 95 release. His real life numbers for his third season. It says 
that he played in 16 games, but he only started 15 of those games. He caught 80 passes for 1,292 yards, averaging 16.2 yards per catch and a grand total of 9 TDs. He can do it in the snow. He can do it with the Vikings or against the Vikings. Moving on. Madden 2010. Greg Jennings is 90 overall. That's right, 90 overall for Greg Jennings. He also comes in with 93 speed, 93 agility, 96 acceleration, 90 awareness, 85 elusiveness, 91 for his juke move, 64 carry, 88 catching, 92 route running, 88 catch in traffic, 88 uh, for his spectacular catch, and then a 92 for his beat press or release rating. Now, his numbers for this season look like this. It says that he played in 16 games but only started 13 games. He caught 68 passes for 1,113 yards. He averaged 16.4 yards per catch, and he just had four TDs. So far, his lowest going back, or second lowest going all the way back to his rookie season. Madden 11, once again, 90 overall for Greg Jennings. He also comes in once again with 93 speed and 93 agility, 95 acceleration, 90 awareness, 85 elusiveness, 91 juke move, 64 carry, 90 route run, 88 for his catch in traffic, 89 spectacular catch, and then a 92 for his release. So he's doing big things in Madden, but how did his numbers come out for this season? His, he started all 16 games. He caught 76 passes for, once again, 1,265 yards, averaging 16.6 yards per catch. And once again, he had 12 TDs to match his career high from his second season. So again, video games translate to real life and real life translate to video games not always but sometimes in greg jennings case it definitely did man but let's move on to madden 2012 and i like this game right here i think the graphics got a big jump and i think that greg jennings looks pretty good no homo just saying anyways man madden 12 he is 93 overall with 94 speed 94 agility 95 acceleration 91 awareness 88 elusiveness 91 juke moves 60 for a carry 94 for his catching or his catch in traffic i should say no his catching excuse me 93 route running 88 for his catch in traffic 95 spectacular catch and he also comes in with a 92 release his real life numbers for the 2011 season he played in just 13 games started off 13 games 67 receptions for 949 yards 14.2 was his average per catch, and he still got 9 TDs in a shortened season for Greg Jennings. Definitely, definitely not bad. Moving on to Madden 13, well once again, 93 overall, with 94 speed, 93 agility, 94 acceleration, 92 awareness, 90 elusiveness, 91 juke moves, 64 carry, 94 catch, 96 route running, 87 catch in traffic, a 95 spectacular catch, and then an 89 beat press or release rating. Now, his numbers for the real life season look like this. He played in just eight games, started just five of those games. He caught 36 passes for 366 yards, averaging 10.2 yards per catch, and he still got four TDs, man. So in just eight games, he got a TD every other game, basically, man. Not bad with Greg Jennings. And of course, when you play for Brett Favre and you play for Aaron Rodgers, I mean, you got a couple of good quarterbacks that going to get you the ball, man. Now, let's move on to Madden 25, but he is a Minnesota Viking. We got a Minnesota Viking on the cover. And Adrian Peterson. Now, he comes in at 88 overall for the Vikings, 93 speed, 92 agility, 91 acceleration, 90 awareness, 90 elusiveness, 91 for his juke move, 64 carry, 89 catch, 90 route running, 82 uh, catch in traffic, 93 spectacular catch, and the 82 release. His numbers look like this. 15 games played in, he caught a grand total of 68 passes, averaging 11.8 yards per catch. He had 804 yards receiving, and once again, he had four TDs. Madden 15, 84 overall for the Minnesota Vikings, 
90 speed, 89 agility, 91 acceleration, 88 awareness, 87 elusiveness, 91 juke move, 64 carry, 87 for his catch and traffic, 86, I mean for his catching, excuse me, 86 for his right running, 77 for his catch and traffic, 89 spectacular catch, and then 79 release rating. Now his numbers for this year, they come in like this. He played in 16 games for the Vikings, just started 13 of them. He caught a grand total of 59 passes for 742 yards, averaging 12.6 yards per catch, and he did get six TDs. Now, for my Packers fans, do y'all forgive him for going to Minnesota? Or should like no Packer ever go to Minnesota? Because as a Niner fan, I don't want no Niners to like play for the Cowboys. So Dion can go eat one, even though he was only with us for a year. I'm just saying. Anyways, man, Madden 16, and that's same for the Packers, too. I want no Niners playing for the Packers. But anyways, man, Madden 16, he is playing for the Miami Dolphins, and he is 81 overall. He also comes in with 86 speed, 88 agility, 86 acceleration, 90 awareness, 82 elusiveness, 87 droop move, 63 carry, 87 catch in traffic, 84 route running, 74 uh, catch... <laughs> I did it again. 87 catch, 74 catch in traffic, 92 spectacular catch, and then a 73 release rating. Now, his numbers for the Miami Dolphins look like this. He played in 16 games, but only started five of those games. Only caught 36 pass or 19 passes, excuse me, for 208 yards, averaging 10.9 yards per catch. But he still got the TD, so he got a touchdown every year of his career. And then in Madden 17, he is a free agent, so I put him right back on the cheese heads, man. He is 71 overall in Madden 17, 85 for his for his speed, 84 for his agility, 85 for his acceleration, 78 for his awareness, 79 elusiveness, 84 juke moves, 63 carry 79 for his catching 77 for his routing 74 catching traffic 83 spectacular catching and 72 for his release now when we add up all his overalls and all the madness that i have which are all the man's that he is in and we divide it by that same number we get a grand total of 85.7 for his career so his overall matches the jersey number which is not bad. He also got a Super Bowl ring, a couple of Pro Bowls. He did his thing, man. Not a bad career at all for Greg Jennings. Again, remember, let me know who you guys want me to do next time and for future episodes. And again, if we hit 800 likes, I will drop another through the years for tomorrow. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Peace. Hot sauce.